Guys, start on your feet. You're able to get to somebody's back. I have the back control. Stand up. I have the back control. I'm looking to take him down, or I look to get his back and finish. So whatever, whatever comes first. But to this point over here, if he's not holding my hands, if I have an option, instead of taking down, I prefer to go to his back because I, I'll get close to the submission if I, if I get to his back. Stay up, stay up. Watch out. So if he's not holding my hands, don't hold my hands. Don't hold oh. my hands. <laughs> he's just bounced. I can just jump over. And I'll try to get my, my chest very close to his shoulders. When I say his shoulder, not on top of the shoulder, but on the line of his shoulder. From one shoulder to the other. So I go there. You just keep everything, everything aligned. But if he's holding my hands, both, both, both wrists, if he's holding my hands, I have to move him and not just forward, not get under, under his head, just keep myself back. And now I'm going to walk to try like a, I must get out of the way and pull him down. Don't fall. I'm kind of like move a little bit out, move a little bit out, just pull him down. As I'm pulling him down, I don't think he's going to fall on his butt, but I feel like I want you to kind of like react forward. As he react, as he almost fall back, maybe he let go of my hands. So let's press, let you hold, and let go of the person's hands so he has that feeling to you let it go of the control that you have. So as I'm pulling him back, he let, as soon as he let go of my hands, and he tried to put his weight forward again, that will be the right time to jump. If the person is falling back and you jump on the back, you both fall. What is okay, but I don't think he wants to fall back. I don't think he, so he's gonna almost kind of pulls you forward with the jump. So from this position, as soon as I pull him back, he let go of my hand, and then he pulled the weight forward. As soon as I pull his back, and that will be the right time. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as the person pulls down, bring your weight back. I'm going to pull him back. I'm going to pull him back. As soon as I feel like he's, he's putting his weight forward, I'll jump over. I'm hoping to, to my hands be free. That's the only time I'm going to jump once I feel my hands free so I can go jump. If you try to jump with your hands holding, you're going to end up in the air, you're going to end up on the floor, the person is just going to be able to get you out of his back. So let's work on this. I'm pulling back. I'm moving back. And I'm yank, yanking down. As soon as he pulled, as soon as he pulled his weight down, as soon as he pulled his weight forward, as soon as I feel like his weight doing this, instead of going back, I feel his weight kind of moving forward. That will be the right time to jump. Try and keep the highest possible on his shoulder. Not above his shoulder, not past his shoulder, right on top of the shoulder. Not on top of the shoulder, right on the line, higher on the shoulder. Um, if I like this seat belt, I get close to the side. So this is the side that I'm gonna go over. If I like the other seat belt, I'll get close to the side. And the other I'm gonna focus. Make sure you have the right uh, side to make it easy for you. Who's, who is getting pulled, try always keep like a, your weight on your leg. Don't put your weight on your butt, on your shoulder, on your head. Just keep your weight on the, on the ground. Keep your feet on the ground because the person is going to jump. You don't want to fall or anyone get hurt. Right, let's go try again. Really got to work on this. But you cannot just do this move because tomorrow guys are going to come with your back like a complete messed up. You know? But we have to work a lot on this. And, but I'm not going to force just one position because you just, maybe everybody's going to wake up uh, really messed up tomorrow and you're still not going to be able to, to understand because you just pushed too hard. So we have to just take our time. But I see a lot of people even use their hand to, uh, to help, you know, to climb, to get over. Guys, if you go too high and the person kind of like a duck under and try like just throw you're gonna go first, you know what I mean? He's not gonna land the floor, your head is gonna go first. So you have to really find your head like a, next to his head. So as I'm getting this control, my head, my head goes close to his head. 
it's not over. Because if I go over, like if he rolls at the same time, my head's gonna go straight on the ground. So I have to make sure once I have and put him, it's almost like it's almost in the same line. And never never show up to you. Know, because show like a you're gonna feel so heavy because you don't have like much grip or control. If you, if you do if you do <laughs> if you do this, you probably like a it's gonna feel like you wanna to fall too, you know, if the person stay and you're not gonna be like a control. So we have to try land straight on his back. The same way you have if you have to jump and land in a very small space, when you jump on his back, you have to land straight on his back, not on the side, not over, not low. So let's always think about like a careful how we're gonna how we're gonna land on his back, how we're gonna get a hold of his back. One, one thing that I forgot to mention, like, I really like this seatbelt grip. This is like a, my strongest grip, that's my, my favorite grip. But towards the ears, I felt like a, this got stronger. Like this gave a grip, got stronger. So I feel like a, I feel like I can do both today. Maybe this feels stronger. And over here, I feel I just want to be strong to don't let the other person break my grip. So to feel strong, I'll, I'll, I'll recommend like a, from the seatbelt grip, I don't even like go, I'm just, I have a seatbelt grip, I can just turn. And I keep that tight. And once I make the back, I'll, I'll put the seatbelt, you know. Because the seatbelt, it's need not just to hold, not to be strong, but to get proper chance to submit him. But I got, I got to the point, hold, hold my hands. He's holding my hands, I cannot just jump. I pull him down. He's losing balance, but he's not letting go. He's just keep his balance. Like, back and forth, he's managed to keep his balance. And I cannot jump. If I feel strong and the person's not heavier than me, or if I feel like a, I can do this, I can pick him up. When I say pick him up, I can pick him up to throw him, or just make him feel like if he doesn't let go, if he doesn't let go, he's gonna fall on his head because I'm gonna throw him hard. So as soon as I pick him up, makes the person let go. So if I pick him up and he let go, that would be a good time to kind of go on his back. If the person is too heavy, you feel you cannot pick him up, and his weight is not complete back, I'm pulling him back and his weight keeps going forward, and he's not like on my hand, I'm gonna trip him to make his hand come out of my hand. As soon as his hand comes out of my hand, I'm jumping. As soon as his hand kind of, as soon as I feel his hand is like he's not holding my hand, I'm jumping. So as soon as I feel the person kind of like he's gonna touch the floor, I'm jumping. So there's no hesitation. You feel, you feel like he, he got a little bit like a off balance. You feel he, he, even if he's just quickly he, he touched the floor, I'm jumping. So if I don't wanna pick him up, I pull him back, his weight keep going forward. He keep his weight forward. His hand touch the floor. Maybe his hand stay on the floor. If his hand is still on the floor, strong, hold on. <laughs> if his hand is still on the floor, I'm jumping over. If his hand is touch the floor and coming up, I'm jumping over. The only difference, like instead of being flat, he's gonna be standing up. So either one, I'm jumping over. As soon as his hand come out of my hand, I'm jumping on his back, right? So if I get over here, I'm stripping, he coming up, I'm jumping over. As soon as his hands come out the floor, because he want to grab my hands again. As soon as his hands come out the floor, I'm jumping over before he find my hands. Uh, everybody will feel like the difference. When you jump somewhere straight, you feel heavy. You feel like you, you want to kind of slide down. When you jump and the person kind of has a hand on the floor, you feel like you want to slide over. So you have to be careful. As his hand touch the floor, I have to jump, but I don't want to. I don't want to roll over, so I have to jump and stay and catch myself. I'm not sliding back, but I'm sliding forward. So as I jump over here, my head cannot pass his head. My head has to stay there. I'm working on the hook. I'm working to put the hook, but make sure your head doesn't pass over his head. Who's who's control the hands, guys? As he pull you forward, you put the weight. As he pull you back, you pull, pull your weight forward. When you pull your weight forward, he's gonna try to trip your leg. So what I'm looking for, 
I'm not stepping on his leg. I'm not heel. I'm just kind of like pulling his leg back. Come back, come back, come back. I'm just pulling his leg back. Once his hands come up, stack him up. I'm jumping up. All right? And all these guys, because they try to avoid this. If the person has your back, he cannot jump low. He cannot hang his weight. Can you hang your weight without following my leg? Can you do this one? Hang my weight? Yes. So, a lot of the time, if the person just hang in his weight and the weight goes on your knees, that's when you really get your leg like broke. So all this is so we know exactly what you're doing to put back and we don't fall and we don't hang your weight kind of like this. Because once your weight goes forward and with the pendulum, that's when like a, you get your shin, you got your tibia, fibula, everything like a break. So you have to avoid this. So the reason why we're doing this is because we know you're gonna know what to do once you have the push back. His hand starts to floor, you jump on the back. His hand let go of your hand, you jump on the back. If you feel strong, you pick him up and throw on the floor. But you never like a hang your weight on his back. All right, let's go try this. Thank you. And I feel there's a lot to do every time we walk in this position. There's a lot. Yeah. We have to really walk like a how to land, when we land, we don't want to land like off in the position. And we're not going to be able to have a, a fair shot if you don't do it at the right time. You know, the guy can the guy can let go of one hand and then he go back to your hand right right there. So when up when open up, the guy have a, a hold hands. When open up, you have to jump in that in that timing when he let it go of your hands. He let him go of your hands, but he's he's catch your hand right away. So it's not about how to jump, it's about when to jump. When when your hands get free, you need to you need to go. And your feet has to be like your feet has to be ready to jump. Your feet cannot be like, a, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm resting. He let go my heart, I, I gotta jump now. So your feet is kind of like, it's, it's moving. So it's moving quick. So because when your hand comes up, when your hands come uh, loose, free, you gotta jump. So I couldn't make him very stiff and strong baby, you just jump, just jump, just jump. Okay, you learn to jump. Your back tomorrow is gonna be tired, but you learn to jump. But if you don't learn to jump when, you, when it's the right time, you're never gonna be able to jump. Same thing, he can have his hands full on the floor. His hands can be flat on the floor, strong, strong. And then I can just press and jump. I can just press, jump, and I just keep learning, heavy, heavy. Same thing, I'm gonna learn how to, I'm gonna learn how to jump, but if I don't know when to jump, I'm never gonna be able to jump. If I just jump, jump because I need to make to his back, probably gonna end up kind of falling because it's not the right time. But let's be clear about one extra thing. We need to press when you jump, but let me just talk about the hooks. I make him put his hand on the floor, so he's not staying on the floor. If he's still on the floor, you can just jump, right? You can just land. So he's coming out of the floor. As he's coming out of the floor, he's pretty much open up. So that open up for the hook. I don't need to put the hooks, but as he's coming up from the floor, hands on the floor, as he comes down on the floor, hook gets that easy. Hook just kind of swing around and just get a hold of him. If he's tight, you don't need to put the hook. So he's defending the hook, but you make to his back. You, you got his back. You make like a, a backpack on his back. So you have his back. <clears throat> so the right time of jump also like open up to put the hooks. If you jump on the wrong time, you probably gonna have a hard time to put the hook. So we have to practice like to jump on the right time because everything comes out easy, you know. But if I get over here, his hands touch the floor. And I I feel like uh, he's not care about coming up. He didn't care about coming up, but he kind of tucking his elbow, you know what I mean? He keeps like very close. There's no room for, for a hook. So there's no room. So he touched the floor, but he kind of he has like a everything little cover. If his hands on the floor, his hands on the floor, and he's not, he's not coming up, and I'm like, I don't want to jump here. If I jump here, like there's no room, there's no hook. So the best thing, just, just push him forward. His hands probably is gonna go forward, and then you jump. Everything because we have to jump on the right time. We cannot just jump. We have to jump when it's open. We have to jump when he comes up. 
So that means like he's open up. Even the best guy, he will open up. But he's going to open up in a very like a, a quick time. He's not going to be open and then waiting to put the hooks on him because he's going to lose. So when he's open, it's time to go. But if he gets on the floor, if he gets on the floor and then his hand is kind of cold and I feel like, oh, there's not much room. Drive him forward. If you wait, he comes back. Okay? Yeah. So he drive forward. Before he comes back, I'll jump with both hooks, right? So let's just understand that at the right time. So you can try taking down, he puts it on the floor. Once he come up, jump and try to put the hook at the same time because it's open. If you cannot make the hooks, you don't need the hooks. Let's just make sure you have a good back control. But that would be the best time to put the hooks. If his hands are right on the floor, he's not coming up, but he's kind of like cover, don't let you put the hook. Push him forward, when his hands uh, take a step forward, you jump over before he take a step back. Let's try to find those, those two scenarios, guys. Let's go try. Every time you get hurt in a position like that, it's because one person doesn't know what he's doing. One, one of the person doesn't know like, uh, how to react or doesn't know how to uh, be proactive in the position. Maybe they attack, but they're doing something really wrong to hurt the other person because he doesn't know what to do. He just do something because he, he doesn't know how to get to the to the to a good position. Uh, hooks, submission, take down, they just kind of sat down you know, and they just put away. So we have to really avoid this. So if you have someone's back, guys, I have all the control, I have his back, everything control. I cannot sit forward. I cannot like drive my weight forward. I can pull him to the ground. I can yank him down, I can throw him side to side, but I cannot sit forward. I cannot hang my weight. Stay strong, brother. I cannot hang my weight. Because not because the other person cannot hold your weight. Because as you jump and hang your weight, your weight moves and kind of like a chop his leg. You know what I mean? Your weight just go around his leg. That'll be the worst scenario. You know what I mean? When you do the takedown. Uh, if someone has your back, you, you don't have much time to tell him like you know what not to do, right? So don't do that. You know. So you can. You don't have no time. So if someone has your back, just try to be safe. When I say be safe, like someone has my back, I keep my knees like, I don't keep it kind of like, a, oh, I feel strong, this guy's not gonna take me down, but he doesn't have to take it down. He, he, maybe he doesn't know what he's doing, he can just break your leg on that. So just don't trust. If, if someone has your leg, just kind of, just don't leave your leg down. On the, on the train, I prefer to fall than to have a risk someone kind of like, not know what he's doing, just kind of fall my leg. So both have a chance to avoid that's in there. We're gonna do take down now, so that's why I wanna go over this first. So if you have someone's back, there's a lot of options to do. Besides sit or hang your weight. You can jump on his back, but you cannot just hang your weight on his back, on, on his hip, uh, below his hip. Another one is like a, if you have a single leg of someone, you cannot put his head forward and spike him to the ground. Uh, I know someone since, as a blue belt, that he got paralyzed with that. Yeah. And after that, I saw a lot of people get injured of that. You know? And when I say get injured, like, probably got really close, get paralyzed too. So we have to avoid this. If someone has a single leg in you, you keep your balance, you cannot put his head out and just sit, sit down with his head on the floor. Uh, on the other way, I don't, I don't pull, I don't, I don't risk put my head outside if I need to finish the take down. Once, like a, you open to get choking a guillotine, so you don't put your head down or out, you know, because you can easily get your head stuck in a guillotine. And another one, because I don't trust the other person if he's not gonna sit and, and, and drive my head to the ground. So both ways need to, need to work on, on the same, has to be on the same page to avoid this. Get some water, you're gonna start on your feet, guys, get ready. 